Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios, continuing 3D printed spaceship week for Star Wars Legion month or two, week or two, I don't know. I'm just uh, printing all these out. Uh, you saw this in a previous uh, review or show and tell. I don't, these are just so awesome. All these things by uh, Imperial Terrain and Corvus Terrain. Um, there's nothing really to uh, complain about them. Really well done and uh, reasonably priced. I mean, there's nothing you can complain. This is. Uh, Vando's smuggler ship, the crash version. I'm going to take it off. I'm not going to entertain everyone with uh, pulling off the uh, supports from Simplify 3D. I had, um, as you saw in the last uh, video with the uh, this the the normal version of this ship, I couldn't get them out of the vents. I did get them out eventually. You've probably seen it in another video before this, and it wasn't too bad, but it was um, not paying attention to Simplify 3D's placing of supports. It didn't need it in that area, obviously. So I'm going to be back in a second. I'm going to move the camera over. Rock, I can just do it real quick. If you guys understand, I'm not a professional uh, photographer or cinematographer. My uh, production quality is obviously very low and down and dirty, just like my spray paint jobs. Okay, this is uh, uh, Corvus Games terrain, and this is, you saw in another video, this is the Bounty Hunter ship crashed version. And I can see if I can pull this off real quick. There's not that many supports on it. And this thing's been cooling for hours. And, oh, I forgot, before I forget, Vando's ship was a 17-hour print. Uh, they're both set at the same uh, uh, settings on obviously different machines. Both sliced on uh, Simplify 3D. Uh, they're stock versions, except in the AnyCubic here. Uh, the retractions, I believe, excuse me, hit the camera, is set at uh, 1.5 millimeters, and it does not work. You'll, you'll get... Uh, stringing everywhere and that's not stringing that's all detail i put it up to five millimeters and i get these results and they're very close uh results from the mark uh the prusa mark three which is i think with shipping was a thousand dollars and i got this on ebay like you've seen in other videos i went through one of their uh any cubics ebay shop and bid on it and i got it for 330 dollars and i've seen them go lower than that and they're much more expensive if you just buy them straight out from a retailer or from any cubic on eBay. But let me see if I can pull this off real quick. It's, wow, that is so crazy. These any these ultra bases, once they cool down, and I'm sorry, sorry about this camera work, everything just releases, and it obviously holds very well. Look at the bottom. Looks like we might have a little warping on this thing, but not bad. And the supports, one already came off. That one comes off. And this really, really pushed the uh, size of the bed, so we have a lot of the, uh, the uh, so we're not a raft or whatever it is. This is a really cool print. Let me see if I can pull the other one off too. Before I, I'm just gonna do this and downstairs, I'm gonna compare all of them together. So remember, like uh, when I printed this originally, this was vertically up and had all the supports come off the back. They weren't bad, but uh, this part, you know, was very uh, ripply and textured from the print. I'm gonna go back over this side again. Excuse me, let me do a 360 real quick. Then we're gonna go downstairs and compare all the ships. And I'm gonna get into a painting. I think I'm gonna, uh, I'll still do some 3D printing, but it'll be stuff that I'm copying and my own designs. And if it's nothing, if it's anything spectacular, I'll show it off. I really love this, uh, the way they did this, because it's wires, it looks like wires hanging down. Yeah, paneling's removed. Uh, part of the wing came off. Um, the boulders and stuff look more like they're a little more of what would you call that? They're not really detailed, but that'll be fine. With an airbrush and uh, paintbrush and some um, pigments, uh, it'll make this cool. And it is pretty, and it's even at the 10% infill at 0.2, it's, um, it's still got some heft to it. Like I have 22 hours of uh, PLA. We'll go back over here again. Let's see. This is a total different method of removing because this is. The, the, like the flex sheet that Prusa has with a PIE sheet. I haven't got the texture ones haven't been released yet. I understand they had problems with uh, sourcing the material. And you can see this is still a very easy way to remove a model. And let's put this back on correctly. Pull that off. And this is just a little alcohol on there. Ready to go again. This one might not be that hard to clean. Okay, this is... Well, we had some a uh, little bit of overhang issues here because I did set on Simplify 3D only um, supports from the bed itself. So that's gonna be a little cleanup. It's 
hey, it's crashed. This is not going to be a setback. And there is room for both uh, towers you've seen on the uh, original ship. And this is an easy cleanup. Oh, we're done. And this is a much simpler model, much lighter. Uh, obviously, the other wing is probably is supposedly probably buried, entrenched into this. Uh, you can see the wing right there into the um, material or the land or the ground it crashed into. And my usual uh, thing of cleaning this stuff off is all over the floor, but I will get to it later. And I'm taking it off camera. That's ridiculous. And I don't have my pliers next to me. I don't want to stop the camera. Let's see if I can use these uh, clippers to get in there. There. There we go. Wow, clean. So I'll do a little 360 on that as you compare to the other ship. This is... I have the uh, original ship with two radars in it. Since it's a smuggler ship, you know, that jamming devices are really highly sensitive uh, detection, uh, you know, for other ships in the area. Because the other one pops into here and they're supposed to be magnetized. You can see that's probably a nice quarter inch magnet or what, 12 uh, millimeters? I think that's the same. Or no, six millimeters, sorry. Six millimeter magnet, something like that. Great detail. Uh, you don't have that other wing. As you saw in the previous video, I was cleaning the supports and there's those four, it's a quad gun on the wing. I was grabbing it, cleaning it, and I snapped three of them off. Um, Use some Loctite super glue, went right, right back on after using some cheap super glue. Never waste your money or time with that stuff. And you got some really cool detail there with the landing gear. Uh, this one's not as uh, crazy and sculpted like the other one. It uh, looks like a little more time was involved in that. But this is still cool, especially I was thinking in the games. I haven't even played a game yet. I have two core sets of designing your own scenarios or. Um, like having a ship, like say the Rebels are, are, are trying to leave the planet. Um, and if the Imperial Stormtroopers destroy it, you just place it out and you guys are screwed. And I don't know whether other factions come out in the future. There's a lot of um, things you can think about and uh, really put these to use. So I will be back. Uh, not This is the end of this video. I just wanted to show these crash. I'll probably do another video with all of them together. And I uh, will see you in that one. Thank you for joining me.